Hey, what's up? I'm Patrick Stump, and you're watching Hit the Floor. Um, right, another question. I know it's about Fallout Boy again, but I mean, obviously, a lot of those their videos were very like funny and quite um, in, compared to like your videos that you're doing mm -hmm. now. It's very different. Do you think this is like your idea to do it differently, or was it just like your director idea? Or? Yeah, no, no. I, I definitely wanted to do something different because mm -hmm. because it wasn't me. Those videos weren't me. Mm -hmm. Those videos weren't videos that I would necessarily. I don't know. It's 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 weird because I don't want to put anything down, especially something that means a lot to people. But it's not. There's a there's a line where it's like you know, uh, those videos were fun to make, but I, I, it's not. The vast majority of them I wouldn't have watched myself. They're not mm -hmm. they're not my personal taste for things. Um, and that's another thing is that I'd say more than it more than the music. Um, a lot of the visual things with Fall Out Boy were never really my, my personal preference. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of something that's fun to get to do as, as a solo artist is kind of experiment with that. But then it's also weird, too, because, like, you know, I don't know. Like, I really like minimalism and modern design and, mm -hmm. and um, you know, and I don't know modern art and things like that and there's this idea that modern art is so pretentious and arrogant and anyone that likes it is arrogant and, and, it, and it, it sucks for me because I'm like nah, but it's, I, really, <laughs> I really like that stuff man and so um, so that's been you know it's, it's been a weird learning curve for mm -hmm. that too um, I don't want to be like a cold robot but I do want to I do want to be honest and be myself and myself yeah. isn't always goofy and you know, and and that was you know again Fall Out Boy got really known for that and um, and uh, and those videos and and um, I don't know it was uh, it was really um, stressful making Fall Out Boy videos. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. We would always because there was always if you look at them there's always so much going on. Yeah. There's so many little shots and so many little things and and we would always have you know we would always be down to the wire you know like okay well we have we have you know. 10 more shots and, and we have no more daylight left and whatever, <laughs> oh, you know, just whatever it would be. It stressful. would always, be, yeah, it would always be really stressful. And then it's also, you know, and then at the end of the day, it would be something that I wasn't fully not behind. I was behind it. It just wasn't my personal expression, you know, yeah. it's, um, that was something that Pete really took the reins of, yeah. you know, that was something that he was really involved in. Um, and so I wanted to kind of take, with this, I wanted to kind of take my reins and be and be like, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do some stuff that is somewhat more simple and visual and whatever, um, because that's more me, I think. So obviously, your appearance has changed dramatically. Is that like, what did, why did you think you changed your appearance? Is it did it for you or? Um, so, I, I mean, there's a few facets of it. I lost weight because um, because I was unhealthy. Mm -hmm. uh, my, it's it's funny because I think people have really skewed perceptions of of weight especially in the united states yeah. um where you know they're like these cutoffs where people be like oh you know oh you weren't you weren't heavy you were you were just chubby or something like you know like whatever mm -hmm. as if that's somehow different <laughs> yeah. um but the reality was medically speaking i was obese and i was very unhealthy it wasn't it wasn't just a thing of like you know, and that's, and that's, it's funny because, you know, people, I'll get, I get all sorts of silly, I don't know, tweets and dumb stuff all the time where people will be like, oh, I really liked you better fat. I thought you were so, <laughs> I thought you were so much cute or chubby. I miss you chubby. Oh, who says and says that? The, and well, A, who says that? And B, it's like, okay, well, that's cool. I wasn't trying to look good or bad or yeah. anything. I was trying to not die. Like, like, it's, it's not like after a certain point, you know, I was like, 25 and my I was like pre-diabetic and and um and my cholesterol was crazy my yeah. blood pressure was crazy um my asthma had gotten real bad you know I, like all these things that just like were totally exacerbated by my weight mm -hmm. and and whatever and and I was like I I it. have to at some yeah. point I have to be responsible for myself or whatever so so I started taking care of myself and then and then there's the dressing and yeah whatever. that's another and, thing and the side burns yeah. gone well the side yeah the sideburns <laughs> sideburns were like all of those things you know um kind of started because i i wasn't a singer you know i yeah. wasn't trying to be a singer and i was really uncomfortable with it and um and i kind of retreated to a lot of things you know i didn't i didn't never really wear my glasses at home but i started wearing my glasses a lot 
um, off stage and stuff because because it was another thing to hide behind. I had the glasses, oh. I had the sideburns, I had the hat, I had the hoodies. I had all these things that I could not really be there. You mm-hmm. know, like I was there, but I wasn't really there. Um, and the funny thing was then on the weekends, I would be dressed like this, you know, yeah. when I wasn't, when I wasn't, uh, because that, that was how I was comfortable, you know. Um, and after a while, it became, you know, A, you become the singer, and B, like, um, you know, it's funny. It became a fashion statement yeah. somehow by... Everyone's noticed it, like... Yeah, well, it's it's weird because somehow my total non-fashion statement became a fashion statement. <laughs> and this thing that people prefer. And it's like, well, it wasn't really comfortable for me, though. I was hiding, you know, like, mm. y- y- it wasn't... I wasn't happy, you know, that way. I wasn't happy, hi- you know, you know... I felt like I was in a turtle shell or something, you know, mm. with all that stuff, with the, with, you know... <laughs> And and there and they're like all these pictures that I'm not in because like, because like, you know, I had the hat and my you know the, the um the shadow went at least to here and then and then there's the glasses and the sideburns and all that stuff you know yeah. the long hair in my face and whatever so. Oh, okay, um, right. Soul Punk's obviously out soon. Very excited. Um, what I just wanted to ask you: Why did Porcelain not make the album? Or is it just on the Truant Wave EP? Oh, because it because I didn't think it. Um, I love that made song. Sense. I love that song too. <laughs> but that's why it's on the rec- on the EP. I mean, I, I don't really, um, you know, it uh, partially because it was so um, electronically based. That one doesn't mm. doesn't really have anywhere near as much um live instrumentation as as you know soul punk i really wanted to i really wanted you know everything to be you know and it's funny because a lot of people will say it will say soul punk sounds really uh, you know synth synthy and whatever but mm-hmm. i play it everything you know? yeah uh porcelain was one of those songs that was really hard to get the right vibe out of with any live instruments mm. um and then lyrically, I just don't think it fits with the rest of the record at all. Okay. Uh, I dig it a lot. It's so I, dig it. <laughs> I, I, I like that. I like that song a lot, but it's yeah. that. But it so it has its release. But it, um, that was actually that's easily my favorite song on that EP. Mine too. It's like that and Cute Girls, and then and then you know everything else has some peaks and valleys. Yeah. But okay, cool. What's the next single to release off Soul Punk? I don't know. Don't I have know. no idea. Um, you know, it, it's it's different in the states and the uk too because the uk you know blazes through singles mm-hmm. a lot a lot faster yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. in the states we'll ride we'll ride a single for a year or something sometimes so i i really don't know um i definitely don't know what will be the next single released here and i definitely and i don't know if it will be the same single as in the states mm-hmm. or what so okay right i'm gonna tell you the weird thing now i named my cat after you what's the cat's name stumpy Stop me. <laughs> That's a funny thing. <laughs> Have you ever That's had that funny, before? Well, no, I, I don't think I've ever had that. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but that's a funny thing is uh, uh, <laughs> Brits abbreviate and nickname things. <laughs> we don't we don't really do that so much in the states. Like like I I get stumpy a lot over here. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't ever get that at home. We or, or you know I I was noticing like. Um, <laughs> What it, there's just always abbreviations for things here, mm. like um, aircon. Someone was saying, "Oh, we're going to turn off the aircon," and I was like, "Oh yeah, the air conditioning." We, we <laughs> like I, I think. It's something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think I think in the states we're we're just uh, it, for some reason we we always have to say like you know we always have to say things and it's such a waste of time too because everyone know, you know I know what you what everyone meant when they said aircon yeah. and it makes more sense than saying. I mean, there's a lot of syllables in air conditioning, but... but uh, I thought we'd gone from my cat to air conditioning this round. That? Well, no, I just, mean, I just mean, you know, it's uh, it's it's funny that... Because stu- Stumpy, I just, I don't know. I, He's awesome. Yeah, it's a year old now. A year... Oh, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. That is awesome. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, any any last words you want to say? Anything to your fans? Anything do you want to plug? Um, this new album. I've got a record coming out. I hope... I, I, you know, just... Um, I'm grateful to anyone that has been listening to it or intends to listen to it or <laughs> um, and uh, and I hope I hope Stumpy is a good cat. I hope he is a good cat. He is a good cat. Yeah. He's very lazy though. It's like are you lazy in general? Uh, I'm, well, sort of. Okay, maybe it's the um, name then. Yeah, you know, I, I, I depends. I'm kind of lazy. 
it, it, it's a, that's a long answer, but, but <laughs> yeah, we'll say yes okay. for now. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.